well, talking about prison, let's talk about Leslie Van Houten because the, the Manson murders um, f featured in your films, and you've become very sympathetic towards Leslie and her well, uh, you know, sense of parole. It, yeah, it's just to say it's Leslie Van Houten, I know it's oh, pronounced it's all different ways, but. Uh, you know, I, I apologize in a way because um, I was obsessed from that case from the day I read about it. And multiple maniacs, we said we did it before they even caught Manson. Divine said, which I can't even believe I did that. But uh, and at the end, they caught him. So we have a thing where Divine finds the headline and say, "Charles Manson, who are these people?" You know. But I went to the trial. I went. I followed it for a long time. I visited Tex Watson. I wrote about it. I dedicated Pink Flamingos to them in a very smart-ass kind of punk rock way. But I think after teaching in prison a long time and meeting victims and everything, I realized that I had really no no sensitivity about that, and I, I sort of apologize for that. And I do apologize for it. And um, and later, after visiting Tex, I was gonna I wanted to um, write about Leslie Van Houten for Rolling Stone, and they said no interview Manson. I said I don't care about him. I don't want to. I'm not interested in him really. And Leslie, I wrote to her, and she said, no, I, I mean, I'm horrified about what I've done. I mean, I don't want to be in the paper for any of it, right? So we became friends, and I was friends with her for 20-some years. And in this country, I mean, the Manson case is Myra Hinley here. It's the same. And uh, people go as them for Halloween. I'm sure people go as Myra Hinley. So it's an easy look. And I always said that <laughs> if she had had her roots done, she would have served less than 10 years. 10 years less than she did. Um, but um, with, well, that picture. <laughs> Get your roots done. Yeah. <laughs> But Leslie's work, she had a bald head and an axe, you know, laughing and everything. So um, she looks back on it with heart. With, you know, she's been in jail 40 years. She's 60 years old. She met Manson when she was 17, a hippie. Uh, I'm not saying she should have gone, she should have gone to jail, you know. Uh, she participated in the murder of the LaBianca. She was in the house. She knew what was happening. But I make some excuses that she does not for herself, that she does not blame it just on Manson, even though she had not a thought in her head by the time that happened that she said a cult leader has to have followers. I shouldn't have been a follower. Uh, they never even took LSD that day. They took so much acid that their whole thing was to never come down. And she said, I shouldn't have taken LSD. They believed there were elves. I mean, it goes into really, he did a great job, as they should study what he did, but he was a pimp. He was a pimp that was 12 years older than these teenage girls. So, um, and I think to be fair, I did something that a defense lawyer never does is, is that I went through every parole hearing and brought up the most negative things the victim's family can say against her release, which I think I had to do, and have her answer them. And there is no fair answer to this question. I'm, I'm arguing it from society's viewpoint. I can never say that the victim's relatives are wrong. They're not wrong. Uh, so, but I do believe that they have told her, she, she had three trials. The first famous one with Manson, where she was laughing and completely crazy. She was found guilty and given the death penalty. They they gave, built them a special little death row for the girls. They were so frightened of them, basically. And they were teenage girls, right? Later, that got thrown out because her attorney died in the middle of it. Uh, not murdered, but died. She had a second trial where she, her mind was starting to come back alone. And she was found, it was a hung jury for diminished capacity. Um, and the third trial they added, since they took coins from the pocketbook, a robbery trial, which you can't have diminished capacity. She diminished capacity. She was found guilty and got a life sentence, not life without parole. All right, so they taught her for 40 years that you can work towards and she and get parole. Well, she's never had a bad thing. She's the shrink say she's fine. She said I wouldn't get out if they had if they told me I couldn't. You know that they say, well, stay here. It's good. You're sorry. Stay forever. It, there's no fair answer to it. I, I understand it's a very deep question, but she's my friend. I, I like her. Um, she's not that person. I mean, uh, you know, am I the person I was at 17? No, but uh, she really isn't. But yet, she doesn't even hate Manson anymore because that's giving him too much power, really. It's just, she said the only thing she could ever do is try to be a better person than she was if this had never happened. That's all you can do when you take someone's life and you're in prison. There's no fair answer. There's no fair answer. If it's your own child, family that gets murdered, you think they should never get out. If it's your own child, then who thinks their child's going to do something that's insane? Her mother said that she was on death row. She was at least she knew where she was. It was better than being with Manson. So um, it's, it's a compl it's the longest chapter in the book, and uh, she has been turned down again since the book came out. But she has said that she can feel the difference in the prison. And the book was on the bestseller list in LA, in, LA, in LA. 
And I think partially because of that chapter in the way, because the crime happened there. And uh, she said that she can feel it, that the guards are nice, that people in the visiting room say stuff. It gives some kind of hope to it. You've been criticized very strongly for it, haven't you? I mean, the Not, there was one review here very much against it. It was really about the only, maybe one or twice in the whole country. Actually, very little. Most people said, even if you don't agree with me, that I made a compelling case for a friend. Mm -hmm. Um, so I wasn't criticized. Yeah, I was online criticized yeah, with yeah. people saying like, "Well, I hope one day she gets out and kiss, slits your throat and they make a musical about it." That kind of thing. <laughs> 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 I once said, you must walk the red carpet of blood. I thought, that's a good title. <laughs> <laughs> it's clearly a subject that interests you because you... you, you